Energy security is national security, says the government, and the Prime Minister will this week meet industry leaders to strengthen support for homegrown energy and reduce imports. That could include controversial new licences to drill for oil and gas in the North Sea and a plan in Scotland to capture the carbon dioxide produced by heavy industry and bury it deep underground to stop it adding to global warming. What we have to do is find ways to try to make the most of all the energy sources that we currently have. And for those that are really damaging to the uh, planet, we must make sure that we do whatever we can to mitigate those impacts. So what could that mean for the country's greenhouse gas emissions? The UK produced a total of 332 million tonnes of carbon dioxide in 2022. The Scottish Carbon Capture Scheme, along with two already approved in the north of England, would together bury 38 million tonnes of the greenhouse gas each year beneath the North Sea. But if the Rosebank oil field is approved, it's likely to produce 300 million barrels over its lifetime, which, if burnt, would result in around 129 million tonnes of carbon dioxide. Doubling down on oil and gas would expose Tory divisions over energy and the role of renewables. How onshore wind figures and the government's energy plans is far from clear. It is by far the cheapest way of generating electricity. And last autumn, ministers said planning restrictions on new turbines would be relaxed if they had the support of local communities. But barely any have been built over the last year. And green groups fear the government's commitment is beginning to waver. The government is banking on a new generation of nuclear power stations to improve energy security, but the reactor at Hinkley Point C near Bristol is behind schedule and over budget, and plans for a new nuclear plant at Sizewell in Suffolk are still on the drawing board. Experts say they are a long shot. What you shouldn't be investing in is more uh, nuclear power stations, for instance, at Sizewell, or you shouldn't be investing in uh, more development of offshore oil and gas, neither of which can help us with the problems we've got to deal with at really fast in the next 15 years. Labour wants all the UK's electricity to come from zero carbon sources by 2030, but in the wake of the backlash over the ULES clean air measures in London, both government and opposition are reframing their green policies to keep voters on side. Thomas More, Sky News.